Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. So this video is going to be a really cool mix of my best finds of 2021. Hopefully you enjoy. Watch it right to the end because there's some really good finds. All of these finds shown here were all collected by me in this last year. I spent many hours searching my local beaches, looking for fresh landslides and checking them each morning to see what the sea has washed out. They're all Jurassic in age, so are roughly 180 million years old and were collected from various local beaches. Easily one of my favourite finds of the year was this massive section of a huge pyrite encrusted ichthyosaur paddle. There's many bones and this makes up part one of two which I found. Here is the second part which I found roughly a month or so after the very first section came down. Luckily the pieces match up although there's a little sliver about three inches just missing however it's turned into a really amazing piece and I'll definitely get it posted up in a video for you very soon. Yeah big old bird. <laughs> no. Although slightly see you on, this ichthyosaur vertebra or backbone had washed out the very morning before I got there. I found many different ammonites over this year, however I'm only going to show this one, it's my favourite split of the year. Although the very middle needs cleaning, it's a really cool piece. Washed up in the very busiest time of the year, I found these articulated ichthyosaur vertebras. There's about 7 or 8 vertebras attached and neural arches at the very top and ribs at the bottom and crossing over the back end of it. A really unexpected find for this time of year. Along one of the more remote beaches I managed to spot this pyrite nodule with ammonites poking out. So I got my hammer ready and cracked it open and when it finally split there were some really nice ammonites in the very middle. This is easily my favourite Elegantisserus pyrite cannonball that I've found so far. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, I make weekly fossil hunting videos from remote beaches near my home. I search for fresh rock falls and try to spot the rare fossils after the sea has battered the falls each low tide. If this sounds appealing to you, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you can see more of my finds in the future. After climbing over lots of massive sandstone boulders, I was very pleased to spot this beautiful rare Nautilus fossil. I've only found two of these. I'm going to get this polished up and I think once I get it back it's going to be really special judging by the nice colours showing already. The next two pieces you're about to see here are quite sea worn so this first bit will be cut and polished whereas the second piece here which is full of ichthyosaur paddle digits will be prepared. I could just see the edges of the bone poking out of the rock which gave me an indicator that there's something inside. While walking back from quite a productive fossil hunt I spotted this piece of bone poking out on the floor. I noticed a bone running all around the nodule. It turned out to be a piece of marine reptile jaw. I'm not 100% sure what it's from yet but I'm suspecting probably ichthyosaur It'll be a really nice piece when it's finally back from preparation. There's a little black shape at the very front of the jaw, which I'm wondering if it is a tooth, but we'll never know until it's been prepared. But fingers crossed, because teeth always make a piece so much nicer. Heavily pyritic ichthyosaur vertebra in a L shape. There's three here, and it joins on to a piece which I found a year or two ago. The heavily detailed pieces of a crinoid. Although it looks like a plant, it's actually an animal. Another really exciting piece that I'm looking forward to getting back is this ichthyosaur jawbone with lots of teeth poking out. 
Would you spot this rock if you saw it on the beach? It contains very pyritic if you saw paddle bones, a really nice and large size. And in comparison, here is a piece of smaller bones from a different animal and a different beach. These are the flipper type bones or the paddle that the animal used to move its way through the water. While it was originally a bit of a mystery, this is a piece of fish, very interesting fish bone. I've sent it away to be prepped, although it's a very small little pebble, it could be quite interesting. I initially thought it was a croc scoot, but it's a plate of the fish skull. This piece I found on Whitby Beach during the summer in a very hot and busy day. Everyone had missed the beach pebble that contained this plesiosaur vertebra, which is very rare to find plesiosaur remains. You might recognise this find from a recent video at a very remote beach I found this massive rock with 8 or 9 ichthyosaur vertebra running along the very top of it. Look at these nice looking section of ichthyosaur paddle bones. Very nice. While scanning one of my local beaches, I spotted this really nice sized nodule, absolutely packed full of ichthyosaur backbones and ribs. The bones run all the way along the block. You might notice that the bone is a nice, unusual jet black colour, so I'm guessing this is from the jet rock up in the cliffs, although I'm not 100% sure of the actual geology of the cliffs. Other than the massive paddle, this is my second favourite find. And I've just found this really nice dinosaur footprint wearing her out. Wow, it's definitely not the most obvious fossil, judging by how everyone else on the beach left it. This actually contains something very rare. Lots of crocodile scoots in this little pebble. It'll be acid prepared to reveal the very delicate bones. Thank you everyone who has shown uh, interest in my videos in the previous year. Hopefully you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I'll see you all on the beach or at least in my videos in the next year.